Rick, how are you? It's Tuesday. Here we are. Yeah, happy Tuesday. Happy Feels like Tuesday. a fall day finally. I know. It's really, really nice outside. Beautiful out today. I am totally digging it. I'm out showing property on uh, the middle of the day because people are working at home and they there can take go. time out to go house shopping. Maybe that's yeah. why the housing market's so good because people can look like <laughs> they're not like driving that's their right. kids all over to all these different you know, events and they're out looking at houses, but. True, very true. Anyway, so I wanted to talk today just a little bit about mm -hmm. Prop uh, 6090. And mm -hmm. that's not a proposition that is on the, the ballot. So we don't have to worry about that kind of talk today. It's existing. Right. And mm -hmm. I'll post a link uh, to it in the comments here on the video, but um, it's pretty simple. Um, Prop 60 is when you transfer, when you're over 55 and you transfer your property tax base within the same county. So mm -hmm. Orange County to Orange County. So the rule mm -hmm. is that you have to pretty much sell your house for the same or less what you, what the mm -hmm. house you buy. So you can't right. move from a, like a little house to a mansion and pay little to no property taxes. So you could do that one time. And then there's right. sort of a sliding scale. Hey, Megan, I think we lost you there. We lost you. Can you hear me? We lost, no, we lost your audio for like the last 30 seconds or so. Sorry. Lord have mercy. I know this DMD, know. it doesn't work when you're on Zoom. Okay, we're just going to keep recording. So uh, yeah. if I see somebody calling again, I'll, I have it on DND. I took it off the Bluetooth. I don't know what else to do. Anyway. Um, yeah, you're so good. Pop uh, 60 is when you can transfer your tax base if you're 55 or over within the county mm -hmm. that you reside in and it has to be at the sales price has to be at what you sold your house for or um uh less and right. it can be a little teeny tiny tiny bit more but it's related to the time that it has elapsed between when you sold and when you buy so they mm -hmm. don't do it while you're in escrow you have to just close escrow you get all your paperwork you go to the county recorder's office mm -hmm. or the tax assessor's office right. and you present information you fill out an application and then they take it from there now right. prop 90 is where you can transfer your property taxes to another county right but not all counties are um they don't they don't all cooperate mm -hmm. so i'll post a link online so people can see um, how that works and some questions and answers and some contact information to verify anything that i'm saying here and then i wanted you to talk about people sometimes you know they sell their house to buy another house but they still need to get some financing because they might not mm -hmm. have you know that much equity mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. they asked me, how do they qualify for a loan while they're retired and they don't have like a job for steady income? Mm -hmm. and that's a great question. I deal with that a lot these days, actually. Um, people that are retiring and actually moving to another home and transferring that tax benefit. So, so what you can use for income, you can use uh, Social Security benefits as income all day long. Oftentimes, if they're two borrowers, you know, spouses, type of situation. Uh, they both got good, pretty good retirement for Social Security. And mostly they also have a, some sort of a pension. So if they've worked for some big company most of their life, uh, they usually get some sort of a pension. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the Social Security benefits. Or if they've worked for the county or the government of some sort, they get great benefits there too. So those are lifetime benefits. We use those for qualifying income. And then with the Prop 6090, you know, most buyers that are retiring and moving to another property, the concern, well, can they, can they afford the payment, right? Uh -huh. So with, you know, with the Prop 6090, they get to carry that tax base forward, right? So it, gets, it keeps their payment low, and then they use the, the benefits for the retirement. Now, they almost always have a big down payment too, right? They've got equity in their house, they're, they're buying down a little bit. So um, I'm doing more and more of those loans these days. They work out really, really well, and, and payments are affordable. 
It's a great right, way to go. Right, good. So, yeah, I think uh, that, you know, when you know what you're doing, you can kind of put a few pieces together and, and right. get to where you need to go, you know? Yeah, exactly. No doubt about it. It's a good know. It is. It's good to know. You know, it's like when I'm going off the script a little bit here, but for example, mm -hmm. yesterday I was showing a house to a couple that had originally, they said, well, we'll call our, our showing agent to show us this house. Like I knew they weren't going to use me as their, their realtor, but it's my listing. Mm -hmm. sure. And I don't, I don't want to like leave it up to someone who isn't a full-time real tour mm -hmm. to show my listing. So true. So I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but I want to show them this house, you know? Mm -hmm. So I met him over there and I, I was like, you can't, you know, you're, you're buying a house. Like you have to connect with professionals that have oh, experience yeah. and that can yeah. lead you the right way. I yeah. mean, you know, when the market's good like this, a lot of different sort of business models come out and mm -hmm. people try different things, but it's like, holy cannoli, like this is, your mortgage is huge. I mean, you yeah, know. Yeah, well, I deal with that as well. You know, I work with a lot of realtors and listing side as well and buyer side. And here's the thing, I, gosh, I don't want to get on my soapbox too much here, but guess what? Being a real estate agent is not a hobby. Right. <laughs> you know, right. it's not a hobby. It's a full-time no. job. And yeah, a lot of people treat it, oh yeah, it's like mad money, it's vacation money. They can you know, it's it's a hobby of some sort, right? And those deals yeah. every time have got issues at, you know, like crazy because they don't know what they're doing, they don't know how to negotiate, they don't know the ins and outs, stuff pops up, they don't know how to manage it. And those deals have a high a high degree of failure. Right. Uh, because they either A don't get the offer accepted because they don't know what they're doing. Or B, once they get into escrow, they don't know how to get it to closing and the issues pop up and they don't know how to manage those issues very effectively and then they end up canceling. So, um, right. so I, gosh, yeah, I can't stress enough that when uh, a buyer or a seller, you got to get with a really professional, someone that has this as a business, as a full-time, full-time profession, right? right? Maybe we'll do, and that's so maybe, critical. Maybe we'll do, um, We'll think of sort of a, a question and answer, I don't know, kind of yeah. list for people yeah. when they're looking for somebody and they can't hire us because they're out of the state on the East Coast or mm -hmm. something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, all yeah. right, well, good. Well, those are some really good tools for people to have, Prop 6090, and also qualifying for a mortgage when you're retired mm -hmm. and how, how that gets done. Yeah. So I appreciate your time today. I'll post some links in the notes and then if anybody has any questions we'll have our contact information there too sounds like a plan thanks megan all right thanks rick take care see you later